Honey. The moon. This is the key focus of the fiscal 2020 budget being proposed by the Civil Space Agency today. Now, according to NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, quote, we will go to the moon in the next decade with innovative new technologies and systems to explore more locations across the lunar, lunar surface than ever before. A series of small delivery missions this year. Then we've got new landers, expected robots. Eventually, according to NASA, humans by 2028. The moon was 50 years ago. What, what, what's what's been the delay? The moon was 50 years ago. Well, I think NASA unfortunately became the agency to nowhere. It just spun wheels, uh, went around the planet Earth. The space station was supposed to be the gateway for Mars and the planets, and that became a big turkey in outer space. So I think we've been basically spinning wheels for 50 years. The manned space flight, the human exploration of space, the nine. But we've got to do it in a smart way. And unlike the previous program, we are setting a course with specific and achievable milestones. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. President Trump and our entire administration believe that it is time to push onward to new horizons and new destinations. Uh, today, NASA is essentially trapped at low Earth orbit. If NASA is not currently capable of landing American astronauts on the moon in five years, we need to change the organization. The things we know is that we do not know why the entropy was very low in the early universe. The speculative part is, were they initial conditions? Were they all special? Were they all by themselves? Or did we come from something else? Did we but come I, from a I bigger want to universe? Convey I don't know the answer. That it's, it's an extraordinarily remarkable fact. It's not a fact about me. It's a fact about the way human beings think, the way human beings, their cognitive abilities, that when you think about it for a moment, uh, you know, a small, relatively small band of hairless apes has been able to deduce all of this, has been able to deduce such strange and 